Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jacob Reinhardt, and today I was thinking to myself as I was delivering pizzas today, you know what? I really like Ramon's Core, and I really like Stevie T, one of my favorite YouTubers. I like his style of comedy, even though a lot of people do not fucking like it. So I thought to myself, you know what? He's made some instructional videos on how to make a power metal song and how to write a death metal song. And I was thinking to myself, my band, The Stinky Meatballs, check us out on Bandcamp by the way, has a song that we haven't recorded yet. So I'm thinking to myself, you know what? How about I include you guys in the recording process and show you guys how to make a Ramones core song. So let's make a Ramones core song. Before we get started, I want to go over what Ramones core is for some of you who don't know what it is. Basically, the most self-explanatory genre is probably Ramones Core in the sense that it's basically any band that sounds just like the Ramones. That's basically it. Has the same guitar pattern that Johnny Ramone had where he was just downstroking the whole time. The lyrical content is just as informal and basically unpredictable because the songs could literally be about anything you want. Has basically the same tempo with a few outliers, but it's basically the same thing. Some of the most notable Ramones core bands, or bands you can consider Ramones core, are Screeching Weasel, The Queers, Teenage Bottle Rocket, and probably the most famous out of all these bands, Green Day. Though some prefer to call these guys pop punk, technically the Ramones core. Barely any solos, three chord progressions, and yeah, just about anything they wanted. Now without further ado, now that that shit's out of the way, let's make a Ramones Core song, shall we? Now when it comes to Ramones Core songs, the most used tempo is about 100 to 110 beats per minute, which is roughly about this speed. Ramones core song I know is about 150 beats per minute, which is about this speed. Now anywhere between 100 and 150 beats per minute should be alright. Now when it comes to guitar, Basically what we have to do is you have to do basically everything that Johnny Ramone did, with maybe a few exceptions for whatever you want. First, you gotta tune your guitar to, of course, E standard. And then what you gotta do is you gotta lower your guitar as low as the strap will let it go. The reason why is because it'll help you downstroke even more and longer. Because up here, you're moving your whole arm. Down here, you're just moving your wrist. Then what you'll have to do is you'll have to come up with a three chord progression because that is basically every Ramones core song. Either three or four chords. And for this one, for my band, uh, my song is three chords. It uses these three chords. <laughs> Here's what my song would look like with the buzzsaw-like downstrokes. Now that you've got your chords and your progressions, what you need to do now is maybe change it up a bit for when it goes to the chorus. So what I did was instead of just going... whole song, I decided when it gets to the chorus to do one of these numbers. And then it would go back to the normal original progression. Now that you got that done, 
This is an optional bit, a super duper mediocre, one note at a time, solo. So this is what I decided to put with my progression. <laughs> no pun intended, you can either imitate the rhythm guitar or maybe add a little bits and pieces here and there. So with the chorus, here is the chorus that's a bit different from the rhythm guitar while still imitating it. So from the top... <laughs> There you have it with the bass. Lyrics. When it comes to writing Ramon's core lyrics, the first thing that you need to keep in mind is nothing. Because Ramon's core could literally be about any fucking thing you want. The Ramones, for example, have songs about sniffing glue, not wanting to go down into the basement, wanting to be somebody's boyfriend, beating motherfuckers with baseball bats. You know, it's you could literally make the song about any fucking thing you want. There's an album by a band called The Lillingtons called Death by Television. Fucking fantastic album, right? Every song is about a movie or movie theme. And it's amazing. For my band, my song is about people who go to the internet, like social networks, for attention. Like, you know, they, they fish for compliments and shit. Which, let me just tell you guys, I hate that shit more than I hate myself. And my face. And my shitty haircut. You know, people like that, that fucking point shit out like that and expect motherfuckers to tell them differently. Hate that shit. But anyway, bottom line, whatever the fuck you want to write about, write about it. Vocals. When it comes to vocals, you really don't have to be that great of a singer. I mean, you really don't. I've shown some people the Ramones core bands that I listen to that are from my CD collection and they don't like them. Because probably they're used to listening to shit on the radio like Adele or Bruno Mars or anything like that. Which I'm not saying those aren't bad artists in particular, but I mean come on. The guys try. Anyway, your vocals really don't have to be that great. You don't have to be Patrick Stump. That's the best thing about Ramon's core. Vocal styles are very different in Ramon's core, which very much so sets every band apart. For example, Ben Weasel of Screeching Weasel. Sounds different from Joey Ramon of the Ramones. Who then influenced Ray Carlisle of Teenage Bottle Rocket. See the similarities there. Who sounds different from Billy Joe Armstrong of Green Day? can go all day with this. So basically in order to be a Ramones core vocalist you have to have the rest of your band think to themselves WE SUCK! and it's all your fault. Now that we have everything in mind the lyrics are written, the guitar and bass are tabbed out, the drums I'm going to use 100 to 110 beats per minute Let's put this shit together into a little demo and see what all of this that I taught you guys would sound like meshed 
together. Enjoy. What did the four, six, on a big validation is what you want from me. That's the shit you fish for in your alliance. On a big validation is what you crave. That's not something you plan on taking to the grave. On a big validation is what you want from me. But you'll never get it. Try your best to look as cool as you can be Why that means so much to you, I'll never say We're you single every hour of every day Just shut the fuck up, it's dumb, not brave Artificial validation is what you want from me But you'll never get it Thank you guys so much for watching. This is a pretty fun thing that I'm fucking doing here. And uh, yeah, so this will be on Bandcamp soon. Hopefully I can make some new songs for the Sneaky Meatballs. Check out Steve Terraberry. Like I said, his comedy style is probably not for everybody, but still, you should really fucking check him out. Uh, thanks for watching this really different video. I'll see you guys in the next cover. Thank you so much. Later, guys.